Hello, welcome to Motorsportsland. I'm Bill DeLong. I'm going to give you a tour of the Stealth 2116, one of our uh, bumper pull toy haulers. Uh, been one of the top lines we've had here uh, for years, and uh, in fact, number one selling uh, bumper pull toy hauler in the country for a number of years. So, um, tops in the uh, toy hauler industry for sure. Uh, I'm going to start off outside here. We've got uh, power awning, which you can see is out right now. Just push of a button takes that in and out. Um, so it's just real easy to use. There's no question when you get to the campsite of if we're gonna put the uh, awning out, you're gonna put it out, it's easy enough to do. So not even a point of uh, conversation. Uh, we've got uh, manual stabilizer jacks here. Something that's nice with that, especially with the toy haulers. When you get out to your site, which is typically gonna be an unimproved campground, you've got independent stabilizer jacks. Each corner is gonna come down as far as you need to come down, uh, as opposed to the power stabilizing jacks, which are meant for more of a level um, campsite. So actually look at that as a real benefit to these. You've got a uh, gas line right here for hooking up the barbecue grill uh, tied right into your propane system up front. Um, you've got your uh, low point drains right here for easy uh, winterization. This is a real key uh, factor with a toy hauler. These uh, braces right here are actually a Z pattern. They come over up and then back in underneath the frame, which gives them a lot of extra strength out away from the I-beams. So when you park your four-wheelers and whatnot and inside, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have your wheels of the four-wheelers typically right up against the edge. And uh, that's a lot of weight on the other side of the I-beam. So it really helps uh, give some good support on the outside. In this uh, particular model, we've got the uh, aluminum wheels, which has a nice look to it. Got them kind of blacked out and uh, with the aluminum uh, showing through too. The axles are flipped, which gives you a uh, higher ground clearance. Uh, nothing wrong with that when you're, again, going off-road, which you're gonna do with the, uh, the uh, toy hauler. You want as much ground clearance as you can get. Uh, this model does have the wrapped and insulated underbelly, which is uh, key for that third season camping. If you get out there uh, during the, the hunting season and whatnot, you're gonna be um, much better protected against the elements. And this actually has uh, heat pads on the tanks also, 12 volt heat pads, so that it keeps you uh, uh, from having those freeze up on you. Um, and then moving around here, you have, uh, you've got LED lights, your marker lights are LED lights, your tail lights, pretty much everything's LED on this, which is really nice. They, uh, they have a long lifespan to them. They don't burn out and they uh, use very little uh, electric also. On the Stealth, uh, the top of the door here, pretty, uh, pretty good feature. You've got the rounded top as opposed to a squared off top. What that gives you is structurally a stronger door from uh, racking when the trail, uh, trail is going down a bumpy road. It just helps that from uh, coming apart. Much stronger uh, setup there. You've got your self-locking rear uh, latches here. So they just uh, come up like that. Bring them down, you've got a lock there so you can lock things down real well. Uh, we'll move along the other side. Got the built-in ladder here, which uh, pivots out just by pulling the pins. Get you up on the roof, it is a walk-on roof. Uh, nice and strong. Uh, if you need to go up there just to check things out, you can, you can do that without worrying about falling through or anything like that. You do have a uh, fuel station on this, this uh, toy hauler. It's a 30 gallon fuel station. There's the fill for it. And back here's your hose. Um, so that you can fill up your uh, four wheelers and whatnot from that spot there. Get the outside shower with hot and cold water. Fresh water fill, 106 gallon uh, water capacity on this trailer. Um, again, they know that you're gonna be off the beaten path with a toy hauler. So you've gotta have that extra water capacity to uh, uh, get you through the long weekends. Um, this does have the 4,000 watt Onan generator. This runs uh, right off the fuel station back there, so it'll run for quite a while. And that's enough uh, energy there to turn on the AC and run everything in the trailer, recharge your batteries, etc. Again, with the idea of the toy hauler, you're gonna be not necessarily at a KOA or campground. You're gonna be out in the mountains, hopefully, or at the sand dunes having a good time and uh, nothing like having a generator with you. Got great storage room here uh, with the light in there so you can see what's going on and uh, you know just extra room even though you have the huge garage in the back. And uh, great new graphics they've come out with. Really just pretty eye-catching. Um, 
They, they've just continued to, to up the bar with the overall look of the trailer and uh, doing a great job with it. So from there, we'll head inside and uh, show you some of the uh, features inside. Okay, so inside the Stealth 2216, got a great layout here. Um, we're just long enough in this plan here that you do have room for the, uh, the Happy Jack rear bunks. You can see they're set up right now in the, with the top bunk down and the bottom bunk is in the uh, couch position, which this can flip around real easily and become the second uh, bunk back here. So you have a lot of sleeping capacity. The kids love this. Um, if you want to keep this top bunk up, you have that option by leaving a few pins in in the top corners, and then you can lower down just the bottom bunk and or couch if that's all you want, if you want more headroom back here. All this uh, seating here that you see, this basically is meant to disappear when you've got all your four-wheelers in here, uh, motorcycles and um, you know whatever you're taking along with you. This couch here uh, folds into a bed when you move the table. It folds forward a lot like this couch back here. And then when you're ready to uh, put all your uh, toys in here or whatnot, this folds up against the wall and you just uh, strap it down with these. Real simple uh, uh, use of that. All the tables come out. These chairs, I love to point out uh, something with these. Really light, really comfortable. Um, you can use these at the campsite. You can see just not much to lift those up. Maybe it weighs uh, 10, 15 pounds. You can actually take those, put them out under the awning and uh, use them out there. Uh, we've got LED lighting throughout the coach. Again, the idea just not burning up a lot of battery power while you're out there camping. Um, this has, uh, on top of that, a great feature. It comes with a 160 watt solar panel, which is all tied into the system. And with that, basically, you know, by the time the day's over, nighttime comes and you're turning on lights and uh, this and that, that's going to uh, have your batteries all charged up and ready to go for the, for the evening. Lots of cabinets, uh, just all the way down the sides, either side. Real nice look to them. They've done a nice job with the, uh, the handles on these cabinets, just a nice uh, kind of brushed aluminum look to them. You also have shelving up above these with a lip right here so that you can put helmets up there and uh, you know the rest of your riding gear. Um, this trailer weighs in about 6,400 pounds, which is uh, meant for half tons, not to have a problem there. You've got 16 feet of storage capacity in this, which is about as much as what we uh, have to offer in uh, toy haulers. It's really a huge amount of space and um, you know, meant to fit in uh, your side-by-sides and maybe another four-wheeler or motorcycle too. So plenty of room. It's got a great TV here. It's easy to see from uh, all the seating. Um, got a nice large fridge here. That's a uh, eight cubic foot fridge. So that's uh, one of the largest uh, single door fridges you can get. Freezer up top. Um, pretty good countertop space here. It's always a kind of a struggle with toy haulers to, ha to uh, not have too big of a kitchen that takes up all the room in the trailer because you've got to have room for the, the four wheelers and what you're using the trailer for to, to get out and fun. But still a uh, good size there. They put the, the stove cover on here, which gives you extra countertop space essentially. And then the, uh, the uh, sink covers too, which you can uh, either pull out or use. You've got the uh, bed up front. Um, so you can see that sleeping for two. And here we have the bathroom in the 2216. It's got a nice uh, glass shower door, which is a real plus. Instead of having the uh, shower curtain coming in, wrapping around, you've got uh, some good space in there. It's a porcelain toilet. And uh, you know, so it's nice and strong as opposed to the plastic type toilet. And uh, yeah. Just good space there. And in here at the control panel, we've done a nice job here. We've got a cork board just to put up little notes and whatnot. This is really cool. You got a 12 volt charging station here with a USB port and also a, uh, uh, a regular 12 volt uh, output there. So that's nice for charging up the, uh, uh, you know, phones and whatnot. Um, this is where you start the generator. So uh, again, it's got that 4,000 watt generator and uh, you take care of all that from here. Really cool feature with this stereo. It has, uh, it has a DVD player, which is tied into the TV, um, but also it is Bluetooth. So if you're sitting outside under the awning in these nice, comfortable chairs and uh, you uh, pair your phone 
your smartphone with the stereo, you can control the uh, volume, what songs you're going to play, all that from just sitting outside, and that'll play through the outside speakers. So, anyway, I think that's about it. Great trailer. Appreciate uh, you taking the time to watch this, and um, yeah, come on down to Motorsportsland and uh, take a look at this or any of the other uh, trailers we have here. I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you very much.